This, this right here is for anyone who's ever thought that zero was an actual size. I'm thick like, excuse me, yeah, hi. They say 14, but they fit like a 12 in Baby Gap. After being shrunken in the wash, I'm thick like jeans that are true to their religion. Don't fit too heavily on me. Thick like Mickey D's milkshakes with the work so multiracial hair after being sun dried and juicy. I love close relationships. And baby, my thighs are best friends. I make Paris Hilton look like the flagpole in front of the Hilton. And I know not everyone could be comfortable with me. Because they think that a size 4 and 8 are average, but I do too, if you're in a shoe store. Measurements are like Broadway location, they're the 40s, and uh, don't waste time trying to figure out my waistline. All you need to know is that it's thick like that flu swine. And baby, I'm thick like, you can't come on this ride, you need to earn height. Thick like swollen body parts in the aftermath of a fight. Thick like a third grader's little waffle beanie with maple syrup stuck to the sides. Thick like Harry Potter novels volumes 1 through 5, I'm thick. But I bet I'm in better health than those girls who think that they are magicians. By sticking their magic wand so far down their throat that they think, so far down their throat that they make today's lunch of an apple slice and orange tic tac magically reappear. And I'm thick like damn. Thick like Coke bottle glasses, thick like accents heard in the back of Italian classes. And you see, I've come to accept my body for being 100 and blank, blank pounds of this. But the real issue here is are you ready to handle someone like me, Thick? Did that work? Yeah. One more, one more, one more. All right. It kind of worked, right? Yeah. All right. Now I'm using technology to my advantage. And it's the same thing with this poem too, Jesse. Great. You've been, well, I mean, it'll, you'll see what happens. Okay. You've been there for me endlessly. Since the day Kings County sketched my name into their record books, I pray that I will always remain the main point of your adoration, that you will, that you will continue to grip my soul with your gummy cracked concrete smile. Baby, I hope that you will love me forever. Like your population's infatuation with Junior and his cheesecake. Like spray cans love Bedford Avenue's brick back brick backsides at 2 a.m. or something similar to the way Spalding loves to boomerang off your thundercloud exterior. How Sunday dinners loves to smell like a trip to the Caribbean. I want to, you to always love me like Dutch loves to be doubled in more ways than one around here. And yes, I am aware that from a different state of mind you could come off to be rough and tough like day old bodega bread. But I've seen you uncocoon butterflies from beneath your eyelids and sprout dancing dandelions from your navel. I know that you are able and willing to nurture and care for me. See, you are renaissance. You gave birth to me. I am from you, from your dreadlock lovers, from your nosy old women with shut open windows and willowing heads for a security system, from your bandanas, one color short of patriotic, from your hood. I am from your hood. I am from your hood, from your door knockers playing tetherball with your temples, from your people who sometimes think that gunshot lullaby by sound better than Cinderella from your people who sometimes think that they are God when they don't even know where the hell their heaven is. I still can't help but love you. Thank you for keeping most of the street, on, street lights on for me at night when the sun has traded places with the moon. I hope even if we separate ways like Bedford Avenue, you will always hold me near and dare to your heart next to your gold chain, padded bra, lotto ticket, and bet metro card, always ready to bring me back home, Brooklyn. Thank you. <laughs>